Alrighty. <clears throat> Today is gonna be my uh Min Miss Mint Pro mission, but first I wanted to um I get a lot of questions on my pictures that I post on the forums and now that I've posted a few of these videos I've gotten uh people asking me what mods do I use, how to install them, how do you uh get the mods to work, uh I, they can't get it to work, so what I wanted to do today is I wanted to um show y'all I'm running in a 24.2 64-bit down here you can see that I have a texture replacer uh, my own skybox uh, you know the mods uh, EVE mod but I also have quite a few more now I'm gonna go back out to my desktop with the game loaded up the game is fully loaded I can go in a uh, go over and load up my game or whatever and go to the VAB and start building but uh, since I already have a mission set up and I know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna uh, try to work through some of these mods that I have because I have a boatload of mods so let's go back out to my desktop and I'll show you what's going on alright let's close this down alright I use uh, NVIDIA GeForce uh, player to uh, record my videos Works at, it works really good uh, and let's go to my shortcut to my folder alright let's go in here in the game data folder and let's uh, open this up now if you look here I know you're gonna say holy hell this guy is crazy I have toolbar aviation lights B9 Baja SP I forgot that is uh oh that's the uh, engines from the uh, guy that does the uh, control all the different mods he makes the mod where you can uh, put it on a certain ship and shoot three or four ships off he has like a bunch of little rocket engines and stuff that are they're really nice um, and I have Bill and Jeb 9000 which is basically a HAL little uh, texture for Meg Jeb so it looks like the little Hal face from uh, 2001 A Space Odyssey instead of that blocky weird looking thing that Meg Jeb uses Blackheart procedural fairings with the upgraded textures uh, to that okay Bobcat we are everybody knows about Bobcat I have the vehicles the uh, Boulder Colorado everybody knows about that that's the uh, clouds and the new uh, different textures on the planets chatterer everybody has it De uh, Deb refund that's whenever you launch the rocket you can get money back for it uh, if you recover the stage with parachutes that's for uh, 24.2 distant object enhancer uh, orbital science that's a bunch of new science part environment uh, environmental visual enhancements exurgent engineering I believe this is just a plug-in that one of the other mods use fine print is a uh, some more contracts that are added directly into the game and as you can see this one is only like a hundred eighty uh, eighty kilobytes fire spitter Genesis rage I think this is another uh, oh yeah that's the ambient light so I can adjust the light so I'm a uh, when I shoot my uh, YouTube videos habitat pack that's the inflatable uh, habitats HGR I believe this is um look at these flags yeah I believe this is the one that come with uh it came with uh the media these medium sized parts that I have I, if you watch my other videos you've seen me talk about those those are the medium sized parts curb attachment system even though they say it's working some things don't work uh, like the US uh, universal storage deal and I believe this is another one of those mods that just is uh, that uses uh, that's for something else for another mod to work. Uh, commit nucleonics, just a bunch of uh, basically a bunch of more nuclear engines. I think it's like five of them. KSP AVC have no idea what that is. It's in there for a reason though. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> KW Rocketry. Now I use KW Rocketry as a backup folder for any parts that I have from other mods that I like to use because this is the one mod that no matter what I'm always going to reinstall and I basically have some parts in here that are parts that I have from other uh, 
mods that I just don't want the whole mod. Lacuna Space Systems. Oh, that's it. that's a, a greenhouse that actually works with the uh, tech life support, which it takes waste and uh, I believe uh, yeah waste and wastewater and uses it as fertilizers to grow food, so that you can extend your life support. Magic Smoke Industries. Everybody knows who that is. That's uh, in front of robotics. Megjeb, Mod Statistics, NASA Missions. Uh, these are the service compartments. The the two that they got. Open resource. And now why is uh the two procedural fairings in here? Was I supposed to erase this erase this one and keep this other one, the new one? Oh no, no, this is just the textures here. That's right, that's right. That's just the textures in that uh black heart file. Uh research generator. I believe this is it this goes with the uh mods that do the uh, extra science in game science alert that's a new mod I've been using SFR is actually a really old mod that a uh, Bobcat had to uh, update so that his uh, little rover was see-through capsule and it comes with about two no three three more capsules that actually see through I've used them a couple times on ships and and uh, you basically can put three kerbals in there ship manifest I use this for all transfers fuel transfers, crew transfers, uh, any type of resource you can transfer with this with one program from the Kerbals up to any resource you put into the game. Space Plane Plus, everybody knows that, everybody's already talking about it should be in the game. Uh, I believe this is a mod that goes with uh, other mods. Yeah, his, uh, Hex Trust, these are the new trust parts. These parts are really nice. It has a uh, an orange tank fuel tank that's redesigned, has a whole new texture, looks like a truss with uh, modular fuel tanks inside of it then a couple of smaller trusses and mounting pieces this is really gonna come in handy when you get to your larger stations and building uh, uh, larger ships oh squad folder station science Tarsier space uh, telescope has some nice new telescope pieces uh, about three different telescopes now texture replacer tech life support trigger tech I believe it is Kerbal alarm clock and what do we have left? Tweak Scale and Umbra Space Industries. This is uh, the MKS and OKS mods. MKS is for your on the ground bases. You can mine substrate, water, uh, and different things and mix them together to make products. And you can actually, they're, they're trying to set up where you can actually send those products back to the planet and get funds for them. And then OKS uh, is a mod that just got added with MKS. That's basically uh, station type uh, modules that match up with MKS. They're inflatable uh, parts and uh, uh, extendable inflatable tubes to connect your station. So it's not just a truss piece and docking ports anymore. You can actually use these pieces to make tunnels that the Kerbals could actually travel through. Uh, okay, and here's your US uh, Universal Storage and the Kerbal attachment system uh, mod that goes with that so that you can grab pieces of that but I don't actually think that it's actually working right now I think a little bit of it's broken some of it's working but the Kerbal attachment part isn't working I don't think not yet I haven't checked the um, forms today B9 gear fix module manager update the newest one and my toolbar settings and that's it that's all I got in here now if we go back let's see how big this uh, folder is it's only 1.83 gigabytes all right you think oh man that's not even that much but when you load this game up let's go over here to my deal now if you look at this my computer runs at 2.3 uh, gigabytes just to run Windows because I have everything stripped down to my computer I have no stuff in the background running you know nothing I'm not one of these people that has a thousand little deals down here running in the background I have nothing as you can see just the basics my sound my suite for my motherboard and steam and basically my virus protection and uh, my network control and monitor now basically that's it there's nothing else running and I keep my computer uh, virus free at all times and uh, I've, I don't have problems like that I've just been dealing with computers for so long I don't have those problems anymore but as you can see once that file loads up and all those textures load up look at what you got here so basically I'm running at so let's say 2.2.6 of that is uh, Windows 
look at what you still got there. You still got five gigs. So that's five gigs of uh, RAM that the game is taking up now with all the textures and all the mods and everything that's going on. And that's not even counting the memory that it's using on the uh, video card. You know, it's not even uh, counting that. So let's go back into game. And I'm going to go ahead and start up my save. I believe it is. Yeah, car. Kerbal Advanced Rocketry. Kerbin Advanced Rocketry. That's, that's my uh, little space program's name. All right, I'm going to go in here and load up, and we're going to go ahead and uh, gather some more science from around Minmus. And then hopefully, I'm going to try to bring that probe back and land it. And. Uh, line up my next uh, ex next mission what I'm trying to pull off so let's go out here to Minmus Minmus Mint Pro there she go let's go down here and as you can see I mean uh, even with all those files and um, you know uh, stuff like that I'm still no load times really not like it was at first and it, everything's really stable let's get over here gather some more of this science real quick here Collect solar data. I'll keep that. Let's see if we can gather some more visual information. I'll keep that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and transmit that. And let's go ahead and speed up time and see if I pick up anything on the science alert meter. Let's go ahead and pick up the pace. I'll slow it down. I know it looks like I'm really, really close to Minmus, but, well, I am, but, I mean, it's not that bad. All right, let's slow down. I want to turn the probe to, towards the planet, or better yet, retrograde, so I can get the telescope aimed at the planet. Yeah. I've already used up, I believe, two believe this one's no more good yeah it's not yeah, I think you can only take one of those readings per planet or I don't know I just don't seem like it works more than once with any planet uh, I'll go ahead and keep that go ahead and keep that let's see if we can I'll go ahead and transmit that All right, let's go ahead and speed up a little bit here. This probe turned out to work really well. I still have 682 meters per second delta V to get back. And uh, with these parachutes, I'm hoping that I can actually uh, get all the way back and land it right at uh, KSC. Let's speed up a little bit more. All right, there it go. There we go. Let's go ahead and transmit that data. I'm going to try to grab as much science as I can. Alright, let's slow down. I know I heard the bubble. Uh, let's get it turned back. I want to slack up on uh, transmitting data while I'm on the night side because the batteries will go low. They will die out. Let's try another one of these. I'll keep that data. These are going to pretty much, they're going to pay off. Let's, I think this is the last one I can use. Let's go ahead and see what we get. Let's go ahead and keep that. That one should be done. Collect. Let's see what we have. We have four, four, so we can actually hold four. We have uh, 32, 8, 32, and 32. Yep. Okay, so let's go ahead and toggle that. We're going to keep all that data, take it back, close it up. Let's see what we get here. Oh, we're not in the zone. All right, let's go fast forward a little bit more. 
I've probably hit all the biomes or the areas that I could hit with the telescope on this uh, inclination so it's probably going to be a mute issue about this time alright I want to change inclinations but I don't have enough delta V for that but I'm going to go ahead and see what else I can grab nothing nothing okay it might be time to go ahead and I'll wait till I'll get farther away from Mimnus let's go ahead and set up a maneuver to uh, return the curbing let's go ahead and set that to 72 and I want to create and execute a couple of bubbles of science doesn't matter I'm gonna go ahead and burn to get out of here yep nothing let's go ahead and I want to go ahead and close these up if I'm not gonna be using the ones that's already come on slow down alright let's go ahead and Log, no. Whoa. Okay, review data. Set materials bay. Toggle the bay, let's close it. Store that science. This is useless, so let's go ahead and put that up. totally locked down on our science experiments except for the telescope but I'm gonna leave that one out just in case we can grab a little more science and now what I'm going to do is a little trick that I learned from oh let me go ahead and uh, use this uh, new ambient light adjuster because I know it's on the night side so it's probably dark on the video so don't see it. It should be open. Because I know I installed it. It was in there. I just showed y'all the file. It's not showing up. Maybe I have an outdated version. Uh, Alright. I guess I'm going to check that out later. Let's go ahead and I'm going to show y'all a trick that I learned. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out and get Okay, let's uh, keep that. And let us keep that data. Let me go back. It seems like all my experiments are... Okay, let's get a direct... Keep, keep that. How many more do I have? Looks like one. Let's see what I get. Let's go ahead and keep that too. That should finish us off on that. Let's review data. The 404. All right. We'll go ahead and uh, close this up. Now, hold on, man. I'm recording right now. I can't stop. I've been recording for 20 minutes already. But you gonna leave or something? Yeah, here go to Savoy. That's the last one, too. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show y'all this trick that I learned uh, the other day. Let's go ahead and zoom out. Alright, now that we've reached the orbit that we're going to go back to Kerbin on, we can actually go here and close this, go back to the map, let's go to landing guidings and click, uh, let's say, uh, 
the pad let's say the pad and land it target and we'll see what happens now what it's gonna do is is it's gonna zoom to the most efficient point see it already knows basically that the orbit that it's on is gonna come right back on top of KSC it just has to wait so basically I told it to land as soon as you leave the orbit of moon and it will take you directly back to KSC I'm gonna show you I learned this little trick and didn't even realize it see now it's gonna stop and try to do a maneuver node let's uh Let's see what we get. Uh, all right. It's how we go down. Oh, a space probe. About what? just me I'm making a video to put on YouTube shit I went from having like 200 views just three days ago to already 800 you can make me uh, dude a dude just showed a video the other day where he paid off his mom in the house 200,000 alright sorry about that I had to take care of some business my stepdaughter was in here I should have paused the game but I want to go ahead and get this video out and get it done I didn't want to cut the video and y'all think oh he somehow he cheated to get it there but basically as you can see with that little bit of burn and I still have 313 meters per second so basically it took 313 meters per second to come back from Minmus and actually land oh 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 Oh, retract, retract. What was I thinking? Oh, man. That's what I get for trying to do too many things at once. Always mistakes, man. People always have to bother me to get stuff done when I'm trying to do what I need to do. This video is going so well so well all right when we are actually coming in right where we want to be so I want to do this and I want to kill rotation or better yet let's see if we can point up and we don't have enough to actually turn it man this is oh this may not be good because if it hits too hard I was hoping to be able to Oh man, I was hoping to be able to use this last little bit of meters per second to get it turned around and slow it down. Because if it hits these pods, that's going to be, I believe, almost a hundred science destroyed with that that I can't get again. That is not going to be cool. Alright, let's do uh, land somewhere. Let's do anything. See if Mech Jeff can get it turned around. I doubt it though. Maybe when the parachutes kick out. Come on. Come on. Oh, no. Well, why is it using the engine? Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. It's not going to happen. You can't flip it around that way, buddy. All right, so 4.8.
So it's actually moving pretty slow. It's, I'm hoping that I don't destroy these science modules because I have I cannot rotate this at all. It has no ASS, nothing. Yeah, this is about as much as I can move it. Let's go ahead and uh, toggle shutter and close this just in case it gets broke. Let's close this one up as well. Let's lock it up. And you know what? I'm going to take a chance and put this uh, solar panel out just in case it hits the ground. It might be able to hit that and take some of the brunt of the pressure. I'd rather lose this solar panel than lose these two science pods. I should have put them on the side with these hard drives off for the science. I'm hoping it can survive this though. 4.7 meters per second. We're going to see. Might as well. We can't do anything now. Maybe if I try to rotate the solar panel down so it can, uh, come on, don't explode, don't anything explode, I'm hoping this survives, I really am, alright, I'm going to leave it alone, don't break, don't break, don't break, please don't break, yes, yes, let's go ahead and recover that, don't even wait. Okay. Things turned out pretty well. We got 200 plus signs from the craft and another 200 from the transmit that we got sending back. We got quite a bit of science on that trip. That was a nice little trip. We got 19,412 back on funds, which puts us at 646. So uh, right at six and a half, yeah, six hundred fifty thousand. Might as well say, no crew, four hundred science. Hey, let's go to the science area, research area. Let's get it done. What do I need? If I'm not mistaken, I needed docking ports. That's the claw. I need docking ports. Docking ports. Couple more habitat modules, uh, curl attachment system. Oh, this is something new. Some adapters, multi spectral imaging platform. Oh, more science. Definitely will probably be getting this one. I'll definitely grab that. Let's see what we got here. More docking ports, decouplers. I believe that is one of the more the modular girder. Oh, that's the stock one. Oh, 300. Man, 300. If I get these engines, this is this is my whole collection of atomic uh, engines that I have. Uh, I have any one that I could find in game. I have these are the uh, commit nucleonics. They're pretty nice. They, the, these models look really nice. This is an old one from. Um, I believe Nova Punch uh, nuclear engine. These are from I believe Nova Punch as well. Uh, these two engines, oh, I, I believe these might be from uh, yeah, I believe these are from Nova Punch. These and this is the stock one. So I have quite a bit of uh, nuclear engines to pick from. Each one has a uh, different uh, thrust to weight ratio and ISP. So it's a lot of them I have set up. The two larger ones that I have are for my really large ships and I have ones like this that are for my small landers and uh, stuff like that and uh, these are medium size these can actually one of these is actually a 2.5 meter engine and it actually is pretty powerful you can use this as a as basically a pusher stage a tugboat stage to send out a large tank with just this engine on it and you can push anything in the uh, curving system with this engine I'll probably save the science that I have now just to unlock those because basically once you get these engines here the sky is no longer the limit you can pretty much get them up there and once you get them up there you can send probes and it's a lot more efficient a lot cheaper now these parts are quite expensive I believe is for oh it looks like they uh, updated them and changed the price the buy-in price a little bit there they, they were extremely high before yep these all super high but 
Okay, and let's see. These are going to be all 300, so this is what I'm looking at here. You know what? I might have to go ahead and unlock this here just to get the bottom part of the tech tree open. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's see what we got here. Uh, oh, there go those larger parachutes that I need for the recovering of those large tanks. Inline chute and a bunch of landing gear. Won't need those anytime soon, but I want to unlock the bottom of this tech tree as quickly as possible. Blue fairings, mini jet. Okay. All right. And as you can see in 64 bit, you didn't see any glitches, no screw ups, no graphical glitches. It's running quite stable, works really well. I wasn't even paying attention to the corner up here, uh, but I'm, I'm sure it was running in the green quite a bit of the time. But I'm going to go ahead and, uh, well, since I hit Minimus up, my next mission is definitely going to have to be to rescue uh, Bill from the orbit around Moon and bring back that science. So I'll be using those docking ports and those uh, a few more of the little parts that I got to build a much better ship to send out there to get him. I'm hoping that I can... Uh, somehow be able to get the, the ship back eventually. I know I'm not going to get it back this trip, but at least I can grab the science and I can bring uh, Bill back and I'll do that and that'll be my next mission, which will be um, the Moon Rescue. Yeah, Bill's Moon Rescue. That'll probably be it. Alright, I thank y'all for watching and have a great day. See you next time.